A few weeks ago, NASA managed to get a third Mars rover to land on Mars. That rover was called Perseverance, and it will be telling scientists a lot about the geography and topography of Mars. However, NASA isn't the only space agency interested in Mars. The China National Space Administration, China's version of NASA, is also interested in the Moon, and in fact, they've also sent a rover to the Red Planet. In today's video, we'll be checking out how China's Mars rover compares to Perseverance. Is it better? What's its name? Does China have better tech? Are there interesting things about the rover? We'll be answering all of these questions and more. Zurong, the God of Fire when NASA was deciding on naming the Mars rover, they decided to announce an essay competition for middle schoolers. The student with the best name essay would have the pleasure of naming the rover. That sounded like a nice naming strategy, right? Well, China doesn't agree. The first thing you should know about the Chinese rover is that it's named Zurong, for the god of fire from ancient Chinese mythology. This name is very on brand for the Chinese space missions as the mission itself is named Tiwen-1, which roughly means Questions of the Heaven. Despite what you may think, the choice of name wasn't all that autocratic. It was put to a vote and the name came up after members of the public voted the best name out of the list of 10. The Specs for Zurong the Zurong is a six-wheeled and solar-powered rover that many have described as looking like a blue butterfly, which is a description that is at odds with the name of the rover. The basic difference between the Zurong and the Perseverance rover is this. The Perseverance rover is just a rover. However, China is sending an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, which is all part of the very ambitious Tiwen-1 mission. While the Perseverance rover will go straight to the Red Planet, land and start surveying its environment, the Tianwen-1 mission will first orbit around Mars and capture interesting pictures for the team of scientists operating it back in China. After orbiting the planet for a few months, the Tianwen-1 mission will finally land on the Red Planet around May or June. After landing, the Zurong rover will be let out and will start its mission of conducting scientific experiments and surveying the geography of Mars. Most of the scientific instruments on the Zurong rover can be found on the Perseverance. However, the Perseverance has a lot more scientific instruments than the Zurong. But it does seem like some of the Zurong's instruments are a bit more effective than those of the Perseverance. For example, the Zurong pack of ground penetrating radar GPR to image about 100 meters, 330 feet below the Martian surface, while Perseverance also packs a ground penetrating radar that only works for 10 meters, 33 feet underground. While it may look like the Tianwen-1 mission is a lot more ambitious than NASA's project, which doesn't tell the complete story. The Perseverance rover isn't just the Perseverance rover alone. Inside a hatch in the rover is a small drone called the Ingenuity. The Ingenuity is a small experimental solar craft that was designed to make the first powered flight on the Red Planet. On April 19th, 2021, the Ingenuity achieved its goal by making the first powered controlled flight by an aircraft on a planet besides Earth, taking off vertically, hovering and landing. Ideally, the Ingenuity is supposed to serve as a technology demonstrator for the potential of using flying probes on future missions to Mars and other worlds and will have the potential to scout locations of interest and support the future planning of driving routes for Mars rovers. It's needless to say that the Zurong doesn't have a Chinese version of the Ingenuity stuck in its underbelly. Mission for the most part, the Zurong and the Perseverance rover have the same mission. The Zurong is expected to probe the Martian surface with radar and to perform chemical analysis of the soil. It would also look for biomolecules and biosignatures. In layman's language, the rover would be searching for signs of present life or life that used to exist. For now, we are 100% certain that there are no complex carbon-based creatures on Mars. 
but who knows, there may be smaller multicellular signs of life on the red planet, and that's exactly what the Zurong rover is out to discover. The Perseverance rover is also going after the same things. However, the Perseverance rover mission is a lot more complex than Zurong's. Perseverance was built to carry out experiments that look for habitats capable of supporting microbial life, seeking biosignatures, collecting samples and possibly prepare for humans by testing oxygen production for the Martian atmosphere. Before we go on, we've got a tiny wager for you. Don't worry, it won't take too much of your time. Here's the wager. We'll tell you a super freaky science fact right now, and if you've never heard it, smash the like and subscribe buttons. If you have, don't. It's that simple. Here's the fact. Did you know that over 1 million piles of Earth can fit inside the Sun? Well, now you know. Let's get on. Timeline Another major difference between the Perseverance rover and the Zurong is the number of years it took to build each rover. It took NASA and its partners about seven years to build the Perseverance rover, even though NASA had built other such rovers. However, it took China only about six years to build its rover, even though it hadn't built anything like it before. That's certainly a great achievement, wouldn't you say? The fact that China was able to get it right so quickly on its first try says a lot about the technical capabilities of the scientists working on the project. While China and America may fancy themselves in a spaceway for the domination of the Red Planet, we at the Super Freaky Science headquarters know that the only winner in this battle is science and humanity. The more we know about Mars, the more we know about our world. And the more we know about our world, the better we can explore it. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye, and remember to stay safe.